Hi, and welcome to Lois and Morgana Davidson Art. It's Lois here, and today I'm going to be showing you how I painted this twilight scene of um, the River Thames and a couple of Thames sailing barges in silhouette against the fading light. It's a line and wash painting, so I first of all sketched out my painting design in pencil very lightly, making sure that everything was in the right place and that I was happy with it. This is quite important with a line and wash painting or ink and watercolour because the next stage will be to go over the pencil with fine liner, which I shall show you sped up um, so that you can see how I go straight over the sketch. So I'm outlining everything and then I'm blocking in the darks to create this accurate looking silhouette. I'm using various nib thicknesses of Faber-Castell waterproof artist pit pens which are filled with Indian ink but use any waterproof black pens that you have. I'm working on Saunders Waterford cold pressed watercolour paper. It's taped to my board and my board will be at an angle of about 20 degrees so that gravity will help me to paint. I shall use the wet in wet method to really simply paint the sky and the sea, focusing on a graduated wash that will be darker at the top, lighter across the middle and then darker again towards the bottom. And then I'll work into the water just to try and build up some ripples and light reflecting on the water. And I'll be using a limited palette of cobalt blue, indigo and raw sienna. First of all, wetting the whole sky with a large wash brush and then working this graduated wash onto the wet page, just trying to build up the scene.
So that's most of the washes and the lifting out of some lighter highlights in the water with a palette knife done. And I'm now going to leave the painting to dry completely and then come back once it's dry and add a few finishing touches. So here's the dry painting. Um, I laid it flat to dry so that things didn't sort of drift down the page. I've now lifted it back up to about 20 degrees. So I'm just going to add some slightly darker tones across the trees using a mixture of the three colours, cobalt blue, indigo and raw sienna across the tree line. Then I shall darken up the foreground river in places just to try to keep a bit of movement on the water but to keep it looking fairly subdued and serene. Um, I want this to be quite a, a calm and tranquil scene. So that's the last um, wet on dry details done and I've put in the shadows in the water and everything has been allowed to dry. So now I'm going to remove the tape. This gives me the chance to look at the painting as if it was in a mount or a mat or a frame and see if it needs anything else doing to it. A chance to look at it with fresh eyes if you see what I mean. And I think I'm just going to use the tips of the flat brush and create a few finer um, ripple marks that are sort of closer together near and around the boats just to bring the painting together a little bit more. And I hope you can see that by using the same colours in the sky and the water uh, that the painting um, works to evoke that sort of twilight feel. Um, with a graduated wash keeping things much paler across the middle which of course evokes the fading light. So here's the finished painting. Um, the colours here are more as it looks like in real life. Uh, the combination of indigo and cobalt blue working really nicely here for that twilight look. But I do think the star here is the ink line work. I really like the silhouetted shapes of the sailing barges against the simple graduated wash. 
Well, I hope that was helpful. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, I always love to read your comments, even if I don't get the chance to reply to all of them. And thank you so much for watching. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, please consider doing so. Um, it's free to do. And if you click on the bell icon, you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. And thank you so much to everyone that supports this channel on Patreon. We couldn't run the channel or Patreon without you. So thank you so much. Wishing you all a happy new year and happy painting. I'll see you again soon. Bye.